Come here, let's talk. Does your vacuum roller brush look like this, full of hair? And are you tired of untangling it and cutting it every week? Well, today I've partnered with Narwhal to show you their brand new Freo X Ultra that solves this and many other problems that plague robot vacuums. It's been a while since we've seen innovation in this space and a lot of these vacuums are looking suspiciously similar, but this one I think defines a time where if you're looking for the best of the best where tech solves problems instead of creating them, the Freo X Ultra is smart home tech that you definitely need to know about. I got a first look at this last month at CES and now I finally have it. I will leave a link down below so you can check special launch pricing. If you're watching later, then make sure you check current pricing because you never know when they will go on sale. But let's start with the unboxing. It comes with the user manual, but I don't think you'll need it because it's so easy to use. Next, you get the Freo X Ultra and I'll go over all the hardware in just a little bit. You get two color coded side brushes, a power cord, and then you get the base itself, which is one of my favorite designs I think of all time. And in the cavity of the base, you get some more goodies. You get a reusable dust canister, which is nice, but you also get two additional self-contained dust and filter bags, which are different this year since they can last up to seven weeks. And I will show you how this is possible later on. When you open up the base station, you will see a function list for the touchscreen that you have on the base, which I think is also a huge win for the design department. You have so much control here, so you don't have to go into the app if you don't need to. You have different colored tanks for the clean and dirty water, which I also like. And inside you get a bottle of scented detergent, which has a unique handle on the bottom. And there's a reason why, because you place it upside down behind the clean water tank. And that will dispense automatically when you want it to every time it mops. The design of the Freo X Ultra is so clean. It has a magnetic lid, which is easy to take off. There is a small guard that you will need to remove before you get started. There is another self-contained dust bag and filter, so that's three in total. But if you want to use the reusable dust canister, you can too. But I'm going to start with the self-contained dust processing solution first, just to try it out. Before you start running the vacuum, just pop in the side brushes and follow the colors to place them in the right slots, and then you're ready to go. I won't waste your time with the setup process because it's extremely easy. Just download the Narwhal Freo app and the vacuum was detected via Bluetooth for initial pairing. Then all I did was add my network credentials and I was ready to start mapping my house. Just hit the button and you will get a series of questions like if you have stairs, carpet, or have a pet so it can map safely and efficiently. It didn't take very long at all and it was fun to watch the map populate in real time while the Freo X Ultra scoped things out. With this video, I wanted to take a little bit of a different approach, and I wanted to point out some of the differences that I think separate this from the other robot vacuums that I've used in the past, and why you might want to upgrade into something like this in the premium tier. First is the overall design, especially the base station. This is so much smaller than my previous vacuum that was here before, and I love that rounded look. I can't lie, it looks a little bit like Baymax, and my son even made a little sign for it, which made me laugh. But from a home design perspective, I really like the way that this fits into my home. It's my favorite look so far, and the vacuum sits all the way inside as well, so it's nice and compact. The vacuum itself also has some really thoughtful design features. The mop pads are thick and made with microfiber so it can hold its dampness longer and absorb more stains. On tile floors like mine, you can see how much downward pressure there is, and the pads spin quickly so it scrubs the hard flooring really well. And the mop pads are triangular in shape and not circular, so there's no unclean gap in the middle for maximum efficiency. And that also helps get a little bit closer to the edge as well for deep cleaning. Second is the design of this brush. It is only fixed on one side, as you can see. It is slightly tapered into a conical shape with tilted bristles, so the hair will just float into the non-fixed end and directly into the dust bag. So no more tangled hair. I'm not kidding, this is from my upstairs robot vacuum that I showed you earlier, it's so bad. I'm surprised that my daughter and my wife still have hair left. And we were also pet sitting all week and absolutely had no issues with tangle hair, so this is an absolute game changer. You can see the hair and other debris compressed in the bag, and when you look at the brush, it does have a few hairs on it, but absolutely zero tangles in everyday use. I got to see exactly how this works at CES and I was blown away, so this translates to real world very well. Now we just need to figure out the side brushes when it comes to tangle hair. That's something that I want to see in the next generation of robot vacuums. Next one is the dust bag I just showed you. I know that some of you will be bummed that the system does not self-empty into the base station, but here's the reason why Narwhal is trying something new with this. I can see this being advantageous for pet owners because after dog sitting for a week and I would vacuum my couch, every time I ran the hand vacuum, I can smell that pet odor. So this self-contained bag system will seal in any odors and also give one less maintenance or failure point to the base station. And what makes this system so neat is that every time the vacuum is done, the system compacts the dirt and dust to pack as much debris as possible in the bag. So that's why it can last up to seven weeks without changing it. So this could be the way to go. 
But what's great is they don't lock you into this and they give you a choice. You can always just empty their reusable dust canister or you can just remove it and throw it away after six or seven weeks and replace it with the brand new clean bag and filter. So the choice is yours. In the end, none of this matters if it doesn't clean well, and I'm happy to say that this does not disappoint. You will notice that it gets very close to the corners to clean, and the accuracy is almost unreal to watch, especially when it goes around furniture. It doesn't matter if you have a mixture of carpet, rugs, and tile floors at the same time. The Freo X Ultra detects the flooring automatically and adjusts accordingly, so you don't have to worry about if your rug's going to get wet if you vacuum and mop at the same time. This vacuum has some of the strongest suction you can get right now, so even this candy and cereal on the floor are no match, and this is the first vacuum where it actually cleared all of my bar stools, but just because of the noise, I'll probably have it avoid this area at night, which I can do in the app. The side laser really helps with obstacle avoidance as well, so most things left on the floor are fine. But as usual, I always pick up the little things so they don't get sucked up. But what I do appreciate about the system is the intelligent cleaning. It can actually detect when areas need extra cleaning, so it can ramp up suction when it detects dirtier areas like this. But the next level thing about the mopping is that the Freo X Ultra has a feature called AI Dirt Sense, where it uses sensor arrays and AI algorithms to identify areas with more stains, and it actually analyzes the water, so if the water is dirty after it comes back from the sold area, it will go back and clean again until that level of cleanliness is achieved. This is incredible, and I witnessed this the first time that I ran the vacuum between the solo vacuum session before and the mopping session afterwards. It took roughly about four hours, and I didn't understand why it went back to certain sections to mop again, but now I understand why, because it did a fantastic job. I know this is gross, but look at the water after just the first clean. This is super impressive. Of course, little minor stains and spills and footprints are no problem, but I wanted to get a little crazy and took the mopping test to the next level with some soy sauce and a ton of orange juice. Don't worry, this is not pee. I know what you're thinking, but it did much better than I thought. It did take a couple of tries to clean it up because of the way that my towel floors are laid with deeper grooves on the grout, but once it took its third pass on it, it was pristine, which I did not expect. But I do like the fact that you don't even have to play with the settings or worry about it. Freo mode will just adjust until the floors are clean. Low maintenance is also something that I really appreciate. I noticed how much quieter this is than some of the previous systems that I've had in the past when self-cleaning the mops. And there is no super loud harsh sound when the vacuum auto empties because it doesn't do that on the system. Take a look at the mops after cleaning all this mess up. This looks really bad, but what I wanted to do is send it back to the base station so it can get scrubbed and cleaned. And this is one of the easiest systems that I've used, especially with that automatic detergent release. And look at that after it's been scrubbed and cleaned. That looks really good. And you don't have to worry about the mop staying wet and collecting odor because the base station dries it so it can stay bacteria free. And whatever maintenance you need to do is on one tab in the app so it'll tell you exactly how much you have left on the dust bag, the brush, the mop, the side brushes, everything so you know exactly what to do to keep your Freo X Ultra running at its highest level. I really do appreciate the auto mode and how good it is, but I also love the customization that you can have if you want manual control over your clean. The Narwhal Freo app has so much customization over the clean. If you have more than one, then you can control them all here. But when you enter the device homepage, you'll see all of the easy to get to tabs where if you want it to vacuum and mop at the same time or have it vacuum then mop after or vacuum or mop only, you can do that quickly here. Or you can go over here into customization where you can choose how many times it cleans in a certain room. You can change the suction power, mopping humidity, or let's say the entryway is dirtier than the rest of the home. You can choose meticulous precision, so that is great. You can also choose a specific area as well to clean if you have a sudden mess, or you can create tasks for it to clean certain rooms at exact time, so this is flexible for any lifestyle. You can choose how often the mop goes in for cleaning area-wise. You can choose wash mops by room so you don't cross-contaminate. Set edge mode to always or smart. The base station has controls for noise, so if you wanted to dry the mops with less noise if you have pets or children, you have that. So this is the ultimate smart home vacuum with the best design in my opinion and new features that actually make sense and solves problems with today's robot vacuums. And to be honest, I expected a crazy high retail price, but I'm surprised with the launch special. With it applied, it competes directly with some of the more budget brands out there, so I suggest you take advantage of the $400 off. Again, if you're watching this later, then make sure you check current pricing because new promos happen all the time. Thank you for watching this and let me know what you think about these innovations. The zero tangling floating brush really does it for me. The dirt sense mode to detect how much more it needs to clean. The design of the mops, the super suction power, and the self-contained disposable dustbin. This I think really is the flagship to beat in 2024. I'll see you guys.
in the next one.